Hi everyone, welcome back to High School Science 101. It has been some time since my last video because I've been spending lots of time on the High School Science 101 Instagram account. And that's got some interesting facts and activities that I've been doing with my students, so definitely check that out. Today, I am showing you a very interesting invention. Let's say that we've discovered an island and we've drawn a bit of a map of this island. We've got a forest here, we've got a village and a volcano and a mountain and a lake. And let's say that we wanted to find out the area of this lake. I mean, we can do some basic mathematical equations, but ultimately that's only gonna give us a rough approximation. There is, however, an invention, a very old invention, that will allow us to measure the area of this shape and any two dimensional shape. So let's get started. This device is called a planimeter, and it was invented in the 1800s and it helps us measure the area of unusual shaped things on maps. So lakes, forests, and blocks of land. So we open it up and it consists of two main parts. We have a long arm here, and this end here is quite heavy. It's a weighted end, and it has a little needle as well. I'll see if I can show you. It's a very sharp needle, and this end, is anchored in place while this end moves around. The second part is this part here and it consists of this circular magnifying glass and it has a rotating wheel and it also has a little ball, a ball bearing as well. We have a long metal arm and we have this box which has a little gauge inside it and when I move this wheel, this gauge moves. And we have another wheel here as well, which doesn't affect the gauge. Let's say that there's a part of our map and we need to find out what area that part is. It could be a forest or it could be a lake. In this case, it's this square. We know that this square is nine centimeters squared because I measured it being three centimeters by three centimeters which gives us nine centimeters squared. And I've just picked an easy number like nine because then we can find out how accurate this planimeter is. So we've got our two pieces here. We've got our arm that moves around, but this part shouldn't move. And this is a really sharp needle and that's designed to anchor this part down so it doesn't move around too much. And that's why I've also got paper here because this is a pretty smooth surface and this needle would slide around too much on this smooth surface. So I've got that on the paper. And this part here, there's two main things I wanna show you. One is that in the middle of this magnifying glass, there's a little circle. And that's what I'm going to be using to trace around the outside of this shape. Secondly, there's this gauge, and I need to make sure that this gauge is starting at zero, like so. I also have this times eight here, because when you first get these, you can adjust the length of this metal arm. And I've done it with a bit of trial and error and figured out that when I have the arm at this length, I can multiply this gauge result by eight and that gives us the total area in centimeters squared. So let's start tracing this shape. I've got it set up here. I've got the gauge starting at zero and I'm making sure that the little circle inside this magnifying glass is in the top left corner of our square. And now I'm just going to trace around the outside of our shape and we're going to see what area it gives us. Okay, so I've finished roughly where I started and this gauge is reading 1.1. Let me just show you very carefully. Oh, it moved a little bit. So it's reading about 1.1 here. So what we need to do is multiply that 1.1 by eight, and that gives us 8.8, .8, which is very, very close to our prediction of nine centimeters squared. 
So maybe my measuring was a little bit out when I did this, maybe my tracing was a little bit out, but that is a very close result. Okay, let's go back to the island and we want to find out what the area of this lake is. And in maths, generally you would turn it into shapes. So we've got a circle here, a circle here, and a square here. And so you'd find out the area of these circles using the formula pi r squared. So you would find out what the radius is, which is the center to the side. And you would square that and then times that by pi. And you could figure out this area and this area, which covers most of the top of this lake. And then you could turn this into a bit of a square and go length times width and find out this area and add it to these ones. And you would have a very rough idea of the area here. But again, it's just a very rough estimate. Let's now use our handy dandy planimeter to find out what the actual area of this lake is. And what I'm going to do is just make a little bit of a mark so I've got a starting point and a finishing point. So I'm going to start with our little bullseye in that mark. I'm going to make sure that I'm starting at zero on this gauge and then I'm going to put my anchor arm in there. Just making sure that I'm starting at zero and let's begin our journey around this lake. and I'm back at the starting point. And the gauge is reading 1.8. So I'll see if I can show you that without moving it too much. So the gauge is reading about 1.8. And given that we have to times that by eight, let's just do some basic maths. So we've got 1.8 on the gauge. We have to times that by eight because of the calibration of this arm and we get 14.4. So the area of this shape on our map is 14.4 centimeters squared. And you could convert that to kilometers squared based on the scale of the map. So there you have it, the planimeter, a fantastic invention for measuring the area of any two dimensional shape. And it's great that we can still use and appreciate inventions like this that have been around for 200 years. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.